Having a hard time getting into the rhythm of coding? Do you feel like you just can't get the hang of it? Or is coding just too hard? I was exactly like this when I first started. In fact, I gave up multiple times before coding finally stuck. If this is you, then you found the right video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Johnny and I'm a staff software engineer at Meta. I have no CS degree and coding was just once a hobby for me. Today, I'm going to share the various habit changes that I made when I was first starting out. And these habit changes actually really made me get addicted to coding. And in my opinion, getting addicted to coding was the single best thing that helped me break into the tech industry. The thing about coding is that it's actually pretty hard at first. <laughs> there is so much to learn in the beginning that you can simply get overwhelmed super easily. In fact, I rage quit more than a few times at the start. And each time that I had quit and failed, I noticed that it usually happened when I took a long, sizable break from learning how to code. And when I started it up again, it always felt like I was starting over and over and over again, forgetting common functions and syntax. It just was a common issue that I kept facing. So this is when I decided to make a simple habit change and with a challenge actually. And it was called the 100 day commit challenge. And the goal was extremely simple. Just make one meaningful small commit every single day. During this challenge, I had my computer at me at all times. Even during my honeymoon, I was actually making commits. Basically, whenever I had a small moment of free time, I would get on my computer and just start coding. Making small refactors, following some tutorials, cleaning up some comments, whatever it was, the important thing was that I was coding every single day and importantly, pushing my code to GitHub. You see, GitHub has this interesting feature where it shows you a commit streak. And each day that I fill that green box, I got a slight hit of dopamine and it felt extremely rewarding for some reason. This simple challenge had a huge impact on my growth as an engineer. And I was finally able to compound my learning and get over that tutorial hell and initial beginner step and actually start building the apps that I always wanted to. Looking back, I had unintentionally discovered Atomic Habits by James Clear. You know, James Clear says consistent small changes or atomic habits that lead to significant cumulative results over time. And I had discovered this on my own. I had a simple cue, which was just seeing my laptop, which got me coding. A simple routine of committing code and pushing to GitHub and the reward, which was filling in that green checkbox and continuing my coding streak. This had really hacked my brain to looking forward to coding every single day and checking that green box for my reward. And after the 100 day challenge, I was no longer a beginner in my opinion, and I had moved on to working on real projects with the goal of eventually shipping something to the app store. This is when, you know, habit trick number two came into play. I remember when I started making apps on my own, I started to let all of my friends and family know that I'm working on the next million dollar app idea. And soon, very soon, it will be available in the app store. Looking back, I was talking a big game and all of a sudden there was some artificial stakes on the line. And this habit trick was something that I actually use pretty often. It's essentially a way to create low stakes for your habit. And it was really helpful when there were times that I just didn't want to work on my app. I continued to push myself and see through the entire project because I didn't want to disappoint all of my friends and family. Now I say disappoint here, but honestly, it was more like I just didn't want to be shamed into talking a big game and not delivering on it. But it worked at the end of the day. I ended up shipping a small spaceship game app called Alpha to Launch. And the first time I got my wife to play with it on her own device that she downloaded from the app store was actually the exact moment that I made a commitment to myself that I was going to become an engineer no matter what. And this is where the final change in my behavior, well, I guess more of a mind shift that came to play. If you want to make a change and a drastic change, and if you want to become an engineer, for example, Start by making coding and being an engineer as your identity. When I made that determination, seeing my wife using my app, I essentially stopped saying I'm learning how to code. And I started to say, I'm a software engineer. That one shift in my mindset made everything click. It made the biggest difference. When coding becomes part of how you see yourself, it stops feeling like something you just have to do, but it becomes something that you just 
end up doing. It's not about discipline, it's about identity. And I really took this mentality to heart and it really showed in some of my actions. So before I even landed my first software engineering job, I had hosted coding meetups, I went to hackathons and I won hackathons, I built and shipped multiple apps, and I even started a coding podcast. <laughs> to be honest, that last one is a little crazy. I don't think you need to be that addicted <laughs> to coding and the lifestyle of coding to really do. But, you know, I was definitely full of imposter syndrome the whole way through, but none of that mattered because I had essentially made my entire life and identity about coding and being a software engineer. At the end of the day, the results speak for themselves. I think all of these actions and habit changes and mindset shifts got me super addicted to coding. You know, I absolutely still love to code and build beautiful and meaningful things. It's honestly coding and being addicted to coding is definitely one of my superpowers that has helped me still continue to be an excellent engineer at my job. If you're stuck and you're looking for a way to get better at coding, my recommendation is to find a way to get addicted to coding. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. And if you're already addicted to coding and you want to take your skills to the next level and maybe get into, you know, like a Fang level company like me, take a look at this video that I did last year about getting into Fang. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.